Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Liz. Today's reading is really fun. We're looking at the next 48 hours from when you click this. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you happen to find today's reading, hopefully there'll be a message for you. And we had tons of info. First of all, we used the charms, we used letters, numbers, we used the pendulum. So you can think of a yes or no question. Tea leaf cards, love cards, tarot cards, lots of detail. And like I said, we're looking at the next 48 hours. When I hit record for group one, I didn't even know what I was going to do. I just sort of started recording. I'm like, okay, two days. Let's just look at a short amount of time, see what's going to happen. I will say lots of complicated relationship dynamics seem to be coming up, not even just in today's reading, but in a lot of readings that I've done recently and cards that I've pulled for people, I've just noticed lots of stuff going on. So I'll be curious to know if this resonates. It's not just about relationships though. This is about uh, things that might happen, things possibly at work, lots of, lots of different things. Yeah, I'm curious to know what you think. I will show you what we have here. Remember though, ultimately my readings are for entertainment. Have fun with it. I do hope that there is a message that resonates. And the fun thing about a reading like this too is in the next two days, you can come back and let me know what doesn't doesn't happen. I always love that. So if you want to do that, I'd love to hear it. Let me show you what we have though. For group one, we have this flower keychain. Group two, we have this mushroom. And for group three, we have the smiley face. So whichever group you feel drawn to, one, two, or three, that will be your number. I'll put the timestamps below. Yeah, I can't wait to hear what you think. Definitely um, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for hitting that like button and subscribing. All of that really does help my channel. If you'd like to support the channel as well, you can check out my Patreon page that's linked below. I upload every single week and I'm actually um, about to record. I found this jar of charms, so I'm going to open that up and I've got a few decks to uh, go through. So I might open up uh, a deck and do a little bit of an unboxing. So yeah, if you want to check that out, that's linked below. I do appreciate the support. Thank you to everyone over on Patreon and of course here on YouTube. Thank you for your support and we will jump into it. I'll put the timestamps below. Have fun with it. Let me know what you think. We'll start with group number All right, one. If you chose the flower, this is your next. Let's look at, you know what? Let's do 48 hours. Let's do 48 hours. I wasn't even sure. <laughs> What I wasn't even sure what we were doing when I turned uh, the camera on, but let's see what's going on. So 48 hours, next two days or so, what do you need to know? Hmm. Okay, this is nice. I see uh, somebody is... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, somebody recognizes that their behavior, something that they said, something that they did, was not something that they're proud of okay this person sort of recognizes okay I was I was behaving stupidly okay like they recognize okay I'm I'm not this is not what I want you to think of me okay so I do see somebody also with the flower like I see somebody asking for forgiveness over the next 48 hours it might not be direct like it might not be it'll depend right because this is a, a general reading it might not be somebody saying directly I'm sorry but somebody is trying to make peace with you somebody is sort of recognizing that they behaved out of character or they're not proud of something so I do see somebody trying to get closer to you again or try to either ask for forgiveness or just show that they're sorry uh, is one of the first things that I'm seeing here over the next 48 hours so yeah the flower made me think of somebody getting you flowers or just um, doing some sort of gesture to let you know like I'm sorry so there is reconciliation of some kind happening um, over the next 48 hours. You've also got some good luck. This could be in regards to money. Let's see. You, uh, yeah, this is really nice. You seem sort of like you've hit the reset button over the next 48 hours with something. When it comes to, I think your motivation, like something was, something had you concerned, something had you very worried about the outcome of something and you're going to see that what you worried about is it's not nearly what it ends up being okay so and I feel like that that's so common my, my mind does that all the time like my mind can make <laughs> these huge scenarios and, and make things seem so much worse than they are so it's one of those situations where you're like okay it's not nearly as bad as as I thought or I can handle this or wow this turned out much better than I thought something like that is happening over the next 24 hours we're going to get some oracle cards and tarot as well. I just kind of wanted to get the themes. Now, 
yeah, you seem re, re sort of, uh, I was sort of getting that feeling of hitting the reset button or feeling recharged in regards to something because you seem to recognize you're on the path to success. You're on the road to success. And this path has to do with some sort of financial, like something financial, something lucky could also happen over the next 48 hours that sort of gives you this feeling of like, yes, I've got this, like something lucky, something like a, a um, an opportunity could come up or something that you feel is quite lucky that's shifting your view or making you feel a lot better about something. The other thing I'm seeing for you, group one, is you seem to be simplifying over the next 48 hours, okay? So you, something is becoming less complicated. Now this could have to do with this whole relationship situation, like one thing you know, sometimes when one thing's happening in our life, it can make everything else feel a lot more exhausting and complicated. So it could just be that because something is getting sorted out, because something is getting solved within a relationship, it's making other things feel a lot easier to handle. So that could be what's happening too. But yeah, it just seems like you're feeling a lot more confident, less worried about something, a little bit more... It's interesting with the bowl too, because... There also could be something over the next 48 hours where you, where you, somebody recognizes that you were correct about something, like they acknowledge, yes, you were right about something. So this seems to be also giving you a little bit of a, a boost of some, of some kind of confidence because you're like, yes, I knew it. So you didn't back down, you held your ground with something, and I think that's paying off as well. But yeah, back to what I was saying, as far as getting back to basics, you seem to be simplifying, you could be decluttering possibly, but you... You seem very sure of yourself or sure of something, sure of a direction, sure of a choice, sure of yourself over the next 48 hours. Another thing I'm getting is you're not really like anyone who's trying to bully you or intimidate you or make you feel rushed or yeah, just sort of intimidated. It's not affecting you. It's not even... It's not affecting you at all. It's not causing you to rush. You seem very sure of yourself over the next 48 hours. So something's happening. It could be too connected to this. Like something happens where you're like, yes, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I was right about this. I'm glad that I held my ground with this. I'm glad that I stuck up for myself with this. And it seems to be just making you feel a lot more confident in general. Another thing creatively, if you work in any sort of creative field or if you have a creative job or if you're just a creative person it's saying getting back to the basics kind of going back to the what worked originally or what I'm getting something you fell in love with originally kind of getting back to the start could bring about new ideas a fresh start okay so getting back to basics right now kind of going back to something that's very simple something that's very easy you seem to want to be a you seem to be like avoiding anything overly complicated right now. And this includes conversations. I think that's why this reconciliation might be happening too, because you're just sort of, you're just, you seem to be in a very direct, confident place. You're not wanting to overcomplicate things. You're just saying things how they are over the next 48 hours. You're being very honest. But yeah, there's, there's definitely somebody that's feeling quite ashamed of something that they said or did or just how they've been acting in general. And they're hoping that you'll forgive them. They could do some sort of, like I said, there could be a gesture like flowers or a message. Or they could just, it might not, again, it might not be as direct as that. It could just be you notice a, a massive change in their behavior. Group one, what is happening over the next 48 hours? Go for it. Reach for the moon. Okay, this is really interesting. Oh, interesting. These two boats. <clears throat> okay, somebody that... I, I feel like somebody that was challenging you sees that it's not going to work, okay? So somebody was challenging you. They were They were trying to sort of stand in your way about something or they were not even standing in your way, but they could have been competing, but somebody sees that you're, you're going to get this regardless of whether or not they're in your way. It's just a matter of, are you going to make this more complicated or not? Like somebody was trying to complicate something or yeah, somebody's backing down 
you're sort of going your separate ways with somebody. I don't mean like a breakup or anything like that, but it's just sort of, there could even there could even be like a uh, let's agree to disagree kind of situation. But it seems like something, somebody that was sort of an opposition or somebody that was a challenge or a competition in a certain way is kind of going in a different direction. Because they, I'm sort of sensing somebody was trying to make you feel wobbly about something or whether or not they were trying to do it, that's just sort of the effect that it might have might have had, but this time it wasn't. So yeah, it just sort of seems like somebody's kind of getting out of the way. Something's getting out of the way for you over the next 48 hours. There's something the cards really want you to pursue, something they really want you to feel confident that you can have, you can go get this. So you're on the road to success. Go for it. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So there's something by getting back to basics and kind of starting again, starting with what I'm getting to tell you, start, start with what works. Like you already know what works. It's worked before. It's just something got complicated along the way. So again, simplifying, you're simplifying. Something is becoming easier again. Something just seems to be clicking again. And that's sort of helping make things clear. But yeah, you've got go for it. I'm also getting to tell you don't let competition or the idea of competition keep you from going after something or keep you from doing something that you love or trying something or applying for that job or whatever this is, right? Over the next 48 hours, you see, like competition doesn't even seem to be phasing you at all. Or, or you're just telling yourself, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it anyways. I'm going to try anyways, regardless of the competition or regardless of what this person said four years ago, regardless of what this person is saying now, regardless of, because I, I do see somebody could be jealous of something. Somebody could be feeling threatened by something that you're doing in a certain way, like uh, when it shouldn't, because it's like really has nothing to do with them, but they feel like you going for this, you being on this road to success is somehow you know, affecting them when it's, it's not the case, <laughs> like power, courage, strength. Yeah, you are, <laughs> I think I was saying it earlier. You are very grounded. You're very firm. You're sturdy right now. Nothing is, is like, there's things happening around you that feel maybe chaotic or really stormy, but you're firmly planted right now. You're very grounded. You're very, you're in a very powerful place. Over the next 48 hours, I'm getting to tell you to take something someone says with a grain of salt, okay? So don't put too much importance on the opinion of somebody else. There's somebody you're dealing with too that acts like they are a professional in everything. That's not the case, right? I was getting earlier, I didn't say it, but I'll say it now. There's that expression, fake it till you make it. Well, Somebody who's doing that is making you feel like you don't know what you're talking about when that's not the case, okay? And on the other side of things, that expression works for you too because there's sort of a feeling of like, you want to go for something. You might not fully feel the confidence 100%, but it's saying like, don't back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. So even if you feel kind of wobbly, just present that strength, show that strength, dig really deep and pull that out of you and pursue this. Okay. Don't show signs of whatever this person is or whoever this person is. Don't don't show signs that they're getting to you, okay? That they're getting under your skin or something that they're saying cuz they're they're being There's okay, I'll tell I'll put it this way. There's reasons why this person's acting this way that really have nothing to do with you. It's more about themselves, so don't let it overly affect your life or your future. Okay, now I have no idea what, what, if this is for you, you'll know what this is about. I mean, and this is a 48 hour reading, so it's going to make more sense as we kind of progress through the next uh, couple of days. Okay, this is really interesting. Look at this. Okay, so you've got the bull. Do not back down from opposition, show strength and fortitude. Listen to this reflection. Is there something you've been avoiding because of the fear of confrontation? So in a couple different situations, confrontation like you could be worried about a conversation right now. Like, oh, how's this conversation going to go? Like, I've been really worried about this conversation. It could go a lot better than you think, okay? All right, this person might be 
a little bit more more receptive even than we're giving them credit for, okay? But also, even if it doesn't go like smoothly or there there isn't like I'm seeing reconciliation here, so at least I feel like like I said earlier, at least there's a situation where the two of you are kind of agreeing to disagree, but even if you don't end up agreeing on everything, you're still not backing down. You're showing power, you're showing strength. You're speaking you're I'm getting your something about being very brave on behalf of yourself, okay? So the oak tree is a popular symbol of strength. The wood is dense and durable, reliable and long-lasting. Sorry, I'm getting interrupted because they're saying like it's not going to go how you think. Even if you even if you're not like you I don't see you as confrontational, okay? So whether this is competition, whether this whether this is actually some sort of conflict that's happening, give yourself more credit, okay, for what you have to say. Like I just keep getting it's not going to go you're going to feel good walking away from this situation. Even if it's not direct conversation or like confrontation of any kind, like conversation, you're still walking away feeling good. Like you're leaving this situation feeling good about yourself. So however this works out. The oak tree is a popular symbol of strength. The wood is dense and durable, reliable and long lasting. This tree symbolizes power and bravery, telling you that you can stand up to whatever storm is on the horizon. Yeah, I think a conversation is going to go a lot better than you're thinking right now. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Or or someone could be also be making a little bit of a fool of themselves. Like you're walking away and you're like, oh my gosh, why was I even worried about what they thought because of this? Or, you know, so there's somebody you're dealing with that thinks they know everything about every. They think they're they're the professional, the top person for every single subject and it's just not true so yeah you do seem to be kind of walking away from a situation feeling like oh my gosh why was I even worried about this like that's silly the mighty oak begins as a tiny acorn it is reassuring to know that something so immense and strong started out as something that you can hold between two fingers not only does it remind us that small things can yield huge results it also reminds us that growing takes time. Rapid growth uses energy to reach a goal quickly. Somebody's dealing with something with a boss too. Sorry, I keep getting like interrupted. There's a conversation with like a boss or somebody um, higher up, a manager. You stood up for yourself or something. And this person's going to... I. Here's the thing. I don't know that they're going to admit it, but yeah, this person's going to realize, oh yeah, I messed up there. That was my mistake. So it's really interesting. I keep getting uh, interrupted here. Rapid growth uses energy to reach a goal quickly. Slow growth uses energy to ensure stable, strong development. That's important too, because you did have the tortoise. So there's something over the next 48 hours that you'd love to go for. You'd love to move towards but part of you is thinking, okay, it's going to take me a year. It's going to take six months. So this is going to take, well, the time, you know, you've heard this, right? The time's going to pass anyways. So you might as well be moving towards what it is that you want. I think some of you got sidetracked by somebody else's, um, I'm honestly, honestly getting somebody else's bullshit. Like some, something got you distracted. So you're, you're kind of getting back to what matters right now. You're getting back to basics. You're sort of realigning. But yeah, don't, um, it says slow growth uses energy to ensure stable, strong development. So whatever it is that you're going for, whatever it is that you're trying to reach right now, uh, it has a lot of potential. It's just a matter of like, are you going to give yourself permission to pursue this? And don't let the what ifs kind of block you from giving this a try. The Oak Tree card urges you to be brave and stand tall. So yeah, I think over the next 48 hours, you're kind of showing yourself what you're made of in a certain way. Let's get a couple tarot cards here. I want to use these ones. Okay, and then we'll do some charms. Group one, what is going on over the next 48 hours for group one? Anything else we need to know? Knight of Cups. Beautiful. Two of Cups. The Fool. It landed in reverse.
it's nice that we see this Two of Cups with reconciliation. If somebody could be coming forward... Okay, I, I know what this is, I think. Okay, so somebody could be coming forward with, like, sharing something emotional that they hadn't shared before. Okay, somebody's making some sort of offer. This could be related to the reconciliation thing. It might not be, but somebody is coming towards you with emotions. Somebody, I'm getting there matching your emotions. Somebody also doesn't want to be so impulsive. Like, they're trying to be more careful with your emotions and their own, okay? I'm getting that they're trying to be more careful. Because the Fool landed in reverse, and I don't always even read reversals, but today it felt intentional. Um, I think somebody's trying to be a little bit more thoughtful or pour, put more thought into maybe something that they're saying or their behavior, their actions. The, I'm getting somebody's being more careful with their emotions and with your emotions specifically. Let's see quickly what's happening specifically in love and relationships. If the reconciliation message was anything to do with a romantic relationship, this could be connected to that. It might not be. You've got true love and worth waiting for. So true love says this is romance of a lifetime. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So what I'm getting here is... If there, you could feel like something you're wanting to know right away or you're wanting something to move a little bit faster or, you know, you're wanting to kind of know the answers. It's saying this is worth waiting for. Um, something that is happening right now, no matter how long it's taking, is getting you closer to this true love. If this is with a specific person, it's just saying like something is worth giving a little bit more time. What's happening in love and relationships? The chaser. Hmm. Okay, so somebody in this situation has a fear of abandonment issue. Uh, interesting. Okay, let me just see one thing. Oh, you've got the runner and the... Okay, isn't that interesting? We've got the chaser and the runner came out together. So you are possibly dealing with Oh, look at that. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. I do think I'm wondering if there's a new connection coming in. Because remember, I was looking at those boats. Those two boats are sort of going in different directions. Like, I wonder if there's someone new possibly coming in with that Knight of Cups. That could be a better match. Because there's sort of this feeling of like somebody you were chasing and they were... That, that could be the, the who the turkey card was talking about, but... Yeah, there is sort of this feeling of like one person has a fear of commitment or or um, very detached fear of attachment. And then one person has like sort of that more anxious attachment style. So it's it's complicated, right? Because like this person, you're, you're chasing like wh whichever one you are, you're chasing this reassurance, you're chasing this conversation when they're not talking to you your concern, like what's going on? Do they not like me? And the other person, every time you sort of get close, they pull, right? So it's kind of this push-pull dynamic that isn't, that's honestly exhausting. So again, I don't know if it's that this situation's getting itself worked out. I think this is a complicated thing to work through, but it's saying have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting hesitation so I think that's talking because like I was seeing with the knight of cups like somebody wants to really come forward forward this could be somebody new this could even be this runner saying look okay I know I've been you know doing xyz let's talk about it okay so I do see some sort of with the reconciliation card something's getting like there could be some forgiveness there could be some compromise Hmm. At the very least, someone could be realizing that their behavior is negatively affecting you romantically and they're trying to be more careful. Like with the Fool card in reverse, I just see that somebody is trying to be more careful or more thoughtful when it comes to emotions with the Knight of Cups and Two of Cups with it. Like I, I see somebody's like maybe... 
understanding a little better, okay? Because, like, that could be the turkey card. It could be somebody who's been just very careless with your emotions. So that could be where the uh, reconciliation is coming in. This, again, the situations will vary, of course, right? But that's the next, those are the themes of the next 48 hours. Let's see what the charms have to say. Bam, you've got this. Yeah, so it kind of goes back to our original messages. Like, you do seem so confident that there's, like, this renewed sense of confidence. You've got the broom, so that makes me think with the getting back to basics. You're simplifying something. You're decluttering possibly something. You've got, over the next 48 hours, a tantalizing prospect will come your way. That's interesting, because, again, that could be romantic. That could be uh, something to do with, like, your sunrise card, some sort of new opportunity, New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. A tantalizing prospect will come your way. Hmm, you've got a four here. So four o'clock, either tomorrow or the next day, could be important today, possibly, depending on when you're watching. Hmm. You know what's interesting? There's definitely a dynamic where, like, yeah, okay, going back to these boats, this person's used to you chasing them. It's almost like you, <laughs> something in you is kind of clicking, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to focus on something that I want to go for that's just for me. Um, I'm not so focused on you right now. You know what I mean? Like, You're on the road to success. Like there's, and the, like it's almost like something you're possibly focused on with work or with like a passion or something. It seems like this person sort of, uh, again, it's like it's it's that push pull thing, which isn't necessarily healthy. But you're kind of pulling away, so this person's like, uh oh, and it's like they, I don't know. There's kind of, uh, I don't think that this person is expecting you to necessarily like go in the other direction, but I think you are. Cause someone, remember there could be someone else that comes along. There could be someone else that comes along or you could just be open. You know what? You could be saying to yourself, look like, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of feeling like I'm chasing this person or I'm tired of feeling like, like waiting on every single text or response. You know what? I'm, I'm going to be open to what else could be and it's worth waiting for. And I'm not so worried. So it's like this person, it's up to you whether you want to give them that chance, but this person could be like, uh-oh, like, you know what? I don't know. There could be some realizations <laughs> over the next 48 hours. Okay, let's see here. You've got the tree. I love that with your oak tree card. Yeah, there's a lot about, like, um, standing firm, being strong. <clears throat> Somebody is... It's making me think of the movie Moulin Rouge, the mask and the song. You can tell everybody that this is your song. If you've seen that movie, there's possibly some themes there, but like, I'm just trying to think of like Christian and the Duke. I'm trying to think of the dynamics. The movie came up for a reason. So maybe there's a message for you. Maybe you resonate or you enjoy that movie. Okay, you've got... You're, you know what's so interesting is like there is something that that again is giving you the like this boost of of self confidence or this boost of yeah you know what I can do this like your perspective in, in regards to something is 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 shifting or has shifted you're getting encouragement to keep a particular dream or something you're working on closer to yourself like don't reveal it all keep it a little bit locked up right now a wish or a dream or possibly your direction something to do with this money path or this new idea you're on the road to success yeah 
you're getting a little bit of encouragement of like keeping something protected or protecting this. Let's get some letters and numbers. Let's push these aside. And if you like my readings, definitely um, you can check out my Patreon. It's linked below. I upload every single week. I do the letters, numbers, charms, and pendulum every single week over on Patreon, including cards. So if you want to check that out. I started doing the letters and numbers a couple months ago on Patreon too. So, Okay, let me know what you see. For names, initials, my tea, I'm spilling my tea today. Got the word but. I don't see anything really. Okay, let's do some numbers. I'm going to flip these intuitively. I'm going to read 189 from the angel number book and we'll do your pendulum and that'll be good for today. Oh, I just dropped a bunch of cards. Uh, I am getting the need for you to, because I just dropped things and my area is getting kind of cluttered, you had get back to basics, you've got the broom here. That could be a good thing to do over the next 48 hours is give uh, one area. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, oh, I had the wrong number. Clarity, though, it just popped in. Okay. Cause I, just, I was just drawn to clarity, so that's interesting. Okay, so you've got heal. You are a light worker. You are being called to work on a higher vibrational frequency. Your angels validate that you have the ability to heal others with your empathetic skills. Research ways to aid those who desire spiritual alignment of their own. So you, people are drawn to you naturally. They find you very comforting. They, they go to you for advice or direction. You help clarify things for people. You also help other people feel more spiritual, more in tune with their spiritual side. This also could be, you know, what the situation with the pineapple and the turkey is about, right? Like this could be, you know, maybe someone sort of had a realization, okay, because of you or because of something you said. A lot of emo a lot of emotion coming towards you over the next forty eight hours. Again, somebody possibly asking for forgiveness or pouring their heart out to you, wanting to discuss something share their feelings with you could be the runner chaser situation i'm not sure that could be something different you'll you'll know where everything fits but okay let's do the pendulum and then that'll be good for today let me know what you think and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button all of that really does help my channel Okay, you've got a no way for today okay so have fun with it let me know what you think group one i really hope that you enjoyed your messages for today uh, let me know in two days what ends up happening i always love that especially for like such a short amount of time it'll be kind of fun to see what does and doesn't happen so let me know group one and we'll oh, see group two if you chose the mushroom then this is your message i felt the urge to show you Look, I spilt my tea <laughs> everywhere but there are so many re beautiful reasons to be happy my mom got me this and uh, yeah, made me happy. You know what I should do? I'm gonna have to, I'm doing a bunch of laundry anyway, so I'm gonna wash these tablecloths. Okay, group, <laughs> group two, let's dive in. You chose the mushroom. We're looking at the next 48 hours. I haven't done uh, one of these in a while, like such a short amount of time. So I thought this would be fun. Uh, we're going to look at everything, love, life, what's going on, uh, just in general in your life, possibly at work. So let's see what's going on for you. Group two. If I said the wrong group there at any point, I'm sorry. Okay, 
let's see we've got the moon okay so there's definite changes taking place over the next 48 hours let's try and find out more about what this is you've got leg stepping into a new experience so absolutely there's some changes and it's based on something that's a completely new experience for you a new place a new um, i just got a new time time i just got new timeline which is interesting you've got unsuccessful plans so it's almost like these unsuccessful plans could be the thing that's sort of facilitating this new experience someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth let's just get a little bit more detail group one had a bunch of these so i just want to get more detail here bowl plenty of material things okay it's coming together here group two you've got chair empty firecracker excitement wind chimes okay i don't know what is going on group one had a lot about a situation like recon reconciling with somebody yours is a little different you've got somebody that is so stubborn about something that they'd rather take time or like um essentially I, I think you're parting ways with somebody okay it doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup or an end of friendship or like a, anything super dramatic but there is somebody kind of stepping taking a step back because they're not willing to budge with something they're not willing to compromise meet you in the middle with something overall collectively i'm getting a lot about like be true to you right now stand up for what is important to you and if this person doesn't like that okay what's important to you it might actually be more peaceful and harmonious if they do kind of end up going their own way with something even if it's temporarily right this could be something at work right where the two of you are just not agreeing on you know a project or an idea you know what we're going to do this on our own something like that could be happening but either way it almost kind of seems like something isn't working out but it's actually probably for the best over the next 48 hours because you seem quite peaceful um now also you've got take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth now that connects directly to this bowl charm plenty of material things okay so you've got the word material twice there so i i do feel like there's something like you've got a lot You've got plenty of something like there's plentiful of something it's telling you to take care of something so throughout these changes take good care of what you have whether this is actual physical like um like possessions that you have money it could be saying be careful with your spending right now um the shark is actually making me think of of shark tank the show uh right now so there could be somebody who sort of sees something that you have whether it's like a, a gift or an ability or something more physical like uh they you know they see your money and they say oh you know what you should invest this into into this thing just be careful it's saying take care so do your research i am seeing over the next 48 hours plans that you had might not work out but again it seems to be for the best uh, or these unsuccessful plans seem to be allowing you to make some sort of change or try something new. Uh, it could be that you were do you've been doing something the same way, you know, time and time again. Maybe it's worked. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe you're getting bored. Maybe you're getting kind of you're ready for change, but you don't know what to do. It seems like the universe is kind of going to make this happen regardless. Like changes are coming in that you're maybe not aware of um, that at the time feel maybe disappointing, maybe you know, you're thinking, oh, I really was hoping that would work out. Or maybe you weren't even hoping that. But some sort of unsuccessful plan is allowing you to step into something new. And you seem you seem quite excited about it overall. You know, what's interesting is there seems to be a lot of activity with something over the next 48 hours, like a lot of uh, something getting kind of stirred up, exciting, um, intense, and then it kind of calms right down. So if you're if you're in this moment now where it's a lot of energy, this firecracker, it's a lot going on. It it seems to kind of calm down almost as quickly as it as it happens, right? Transformation, moon magic, very interesting. Transformation. So you've got changes in your life with the moon here. So a lot of uh Oh, interesting too. You've got uh, Hecate there. So this is important i think you're at a bit of a crossroads okay i think you're at a crossroads in your life you know and this could be you who was stubborn at, at some point right like you could have been clinging on to these plans or this idea or this whatever this is 
sort of stubbornly and then you know as the universe kind of does it's sometimes things don't work out and it forces us to make a change right so this could also be you being stubborn i do feel like with this empty chair though someone who you just don't see eye to eye with anymore or somebody who it's just like your relationship is transforming your relationship itself is changing and that's not necessarily a bad thing because you could be in a different place they could be in a different place it doesn't mean you won't reunite it doesn't mean this person will be out of your life forever but the relationship is changing the dynamic is changing your relationship to this person um, how you communicate with them how you feel about them could be changing so something is something is shifting and it might not be such a bad person uh, might oh i made a mistake there i said it might not be such a bad person I meant to say it might not be such a bad place, but I think I said that for a reason. This person might not be a bad person, right? Just because we part ways with somebody or we or we feel a distance with someone doesn't necessarily mean that they're a bad person. It just might not it might not be that you see eye to eye with something, okay? Uh so yeah, it's it's interesting with this empty chair is because it's leaving room maybe for a different relationship that you do want to invest in right now. You've got butterfly. So much about transformation. Look, you've got the word transformation twice. So then this next 48 hours is a big one for you. You know, I really wasn't sure because we're talking about like such a short amount of time. Some days are just days, right? Some days are just, they feel like every single day and there's nothing really remarkable or nothing really, you know, completely different for you this is different okay so for you this next 48 hours is a period of intense transformation lots of changes okay you've got three cards uh talking about this and i just think that the crossroads is an important aspect to this like being at a crossroads possibly finally making a decision to step into a new experience finally making a decision to to put a little bit of distance or separation uh in a particular relationship to focus your energy elsewhere very beautiful uh i want to go back to our little warning here over the next 48 hours overall looks good but we do have again our one warning there with the shark it's just saying be careful with your your pentacles energy okay so be cautious uh, I wouldn't jump over the next 48 hours to invest into anything too quickly. I'm not a financial expert in any way, shape, or form, okay? So this is just general advice. Um, you know, consult experts accordingly. But I'm just saying that's exactly what to do. If if there's something you want to spend on over the next two days, invest in, possibly uh, put out any of your money or material, anything material into, just it's saying take care so do research ask questions make sure you have all of the information before diving okay doesn't mean don't dive because you could be stepping into lots of different experiences right now it's just saying take care be cautious look around ask questions that's all it's saying it's not saying don't take risks it's saying be cautious take you know don't let excitement overwhelm you into doing anything too impulsive it's better to make decisions when things are sort of peaceful, calm, and you can really kind of pay attention because a lot's changing right now for you. You've got three massive cards of change. So that change is exciting, but kind of um, I'm getting to tell you to not be too impulsive. Just be cautious. Look around is what I'm getting to tell you. Look around. So I do kind of want to read one of these. We've got the same keyword for each of these cards. So let's just read from the Green Witches Oracle. Stay tuned. We're going to do your letters, numbers, charms, and pendulum. Also, if you like that stuff, check out my Patreon. It's linked below. I post every single week. We do the pendulum every week, letters, numbers, and charms, of course, as well as cards. So if you want to support the channel that way, you can check that out. It's linked below. I'm really not good at promoting my Patreon, so I'm trying to mention it. <laughs> okay, so the reflection for this card, are you afraid to make a change, especially if this change means giving up parts of yourself in the process? So you might be making a change right now, stepping into a new experience, and that might mean leaving somebody kind of, or it feels that way. You feel like you're leaving somebody behind that isn't ready to change. I've noticed this in my life where like if I've made a change for something that I felt like was healthy for myself, there has been maybe some resistance um, 
or comments, not even resistance, but comments like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? Or, oh, I heard that didn't work out for this person from people that maybe at that point aren't willing to change. So sometimes when we're making changes, it forces other people to kind of look at what they're not willing to change or what they're not ready to change. Okay. So I think that's a good reflection. So are you afraid to make a change, especially if this change means giving up parts of yourself in the process? So it feels kind of like you feel like you're abandoning parts of yourself by making a change or by doing what's true to you, but you're in a period of transformation right now. We're not meant to stay in that cocoon phase forever, right? We're, we're meant to emerge, emerge from this, okay? So there's changes happening, it seems, whether you like it or not. It's just, are you ready to step into this change, right? And it's scary, right? It's unfamiliar. Butterflies are commonly associated with beauty and joy. They are inspirational in their loveliness, but the journey they go through to achieve this metamorphosis is even more inspirational, if less pretty. Caterpillars must completely dissolve into the chrysalis, giving up their physical selves in the process of transformation. Only once they have relinquished everything... Oh, interesting. Only once they have relinquished everything can their physical matter be reassembled as butterflies. There's a lot about like giving something up over the next 48 hours. This could be physical things. I've been getting a lot about decluttering. Like this could be as simple as, you know, as simple as that. But there is sort of a feeling of like what you want is so important that you're willing to, even if it means a relationship is, is you're feeling a little less close to someone or even if it means like for you, this could be leaving a job. This could be, you know, of course, again, do what feels right for you. Always listen to your own intuition, your own judgment, but maybe you're in the process of, of stepping into a new job, right? And this means, you know, leaving a job that you've been very familiar with, or maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's something a little more simple, like the example I gave, like with decluttering, um, you know, maybe it's just more of a mindset, right? You feel like you're making big changes and stepping into new experiences, trying new things. And maybe you have a friend in your life or a family member or your significant other that doesn't want to, right? So you, you're making the decision to still do these things because that's what's important to you right now. And it's, impor it's important that you embrace these changes. Okay. The idea of that much sacrifice can be overwhelming, even if the end result is glorious. So yeah, you've got a lot about like something is you might feel right now in your life that things are kind of being taken away and it feels okay. Like, hey, where did this person go? Where's this going? Like, why is everything changing? It, it, it does seem to be making room for something else. Fear of change can also hold you back. Let the beauty and joy that await you inspire courage. Trust that achieving your goal will be worth it. The butterfly card urges you not to be afraid to let yourself grow and become something new. So you are group two in an intense period of, of change over the next 48 hours. Like this is incredible because this, again, we're looking at two days. So that means you might not be aware of it. Like it might not be obvious at all times, right? With the moon, like things are happening possibly beneath the surface or a little less obvious, but there's a lot of change happening and I'm getting to be excited about it. As far as, again, as far as warnings that we might have, it's just saying be cautious when making any decision when it comes to money um, right now, spending or your belongings. Um, so I don't know, you'll know what that means. Like, you know, it could even just be like, for example, it could be somebody wants to borrow something and every time you've loaned this person something, they never return it. You know, you've loaned them this, they've never returned it. Oh, I broke that. Sorry. So it could be even be saying, it could be something as simple as that. Like, oh, this person calls you over the next two days and says, hey, can I borrow your, you know, that dish, you know, that serving tray? Be comfortable with saying no, okay? Um, you know what? No, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of a, a small example, but I like to give those examples. It's just saying like, you got, I could even just be saying you've got a lot going for you right now. So just be careful, you know, be careful, be cautious. Group two, what is going on right now? Okay. I might, they want me to use this. Group two. Next 48 hours. We're going to look at love too in just a moment. And then we'll do your charms, letters, and numbers. So what's going on over the next 48 hours? Oh. All right. Beautiful. 
Oh, lovely. Look at that. Yeah, plenty of material things. Okay, so you've got nine of cups. Live in a constant state of gratitude. I love the, looks like a, a bus here, but, or van. You, with the, with the Ten of Pentacles, this bowl card, you know, it again, it might feel like a lot of things are kind of changing for you. People in your life, relationships are shifting. Maybe you recently went through a breakup. Maybe, you know, you changed jobs. You're having to get to know an entirely new set of coworkers or friends. But you've got so much available to you right now. Plenty of material things. Like, and, and it seems like over the next 48 hours, you're, you're in a state of gratitude or it's encouraging you to acknowledge these things. Having it all looks different to everyone. That's really important too, right? Like, you could kind of be realizing what's really important to you. It's so funny with these unsuccessful plans too, because it, it almost kind of feels like it's actually a relief. Something's not working out either with someone or with something you didn't even really want to do. And it actually kind of feels like a relief because you seem at, you seem to be at peace with it. Um, you know, and I'm getting something about like the old you might have been more upset, but the new you doesn't really mind. Having it all looks different to everyone. So yeah, you you seem very reflective about like what you value. When life gets chaotic, find a way to get grounded and balanced. Yeah. Right now, I think balance is really important. I think you've got a lot to juggle, first of all. I think you've got a lot to juggle right now because all of these changes are happening. So just keep doing the best you can. These are beautiful cards for you over the next 48 hours. Like, they're quite peaceful. I'm getting a situation over the next 48 hours that is really chaotic. It could be, again, a person you're dealing with, okay? But you're dealing with something where it's just like, I need to step away from this. You're very protective of yourself, too. I'm looking at the dogs here. Like, you're very, um, you've almost, you've got like this, um, this, I'm almost getting like a, uh, I'm getting honestly like a veil of protection right now. If there's a situation over the next few days that is like particularly chaotic, stressful, uh, dramatic, don't be afraid to step away. This empty chair could be you. You know, you could be stepping away from a situation. You, you could be getting up out of a situation saying, you know what, this isn't for me. I'm walking away. And these decisions don't have to be permanent, right? Like, I think sometimes when we get messages like that, it's like, you know, it's not always necessarily a breakup or a divorce or separation, end of a friendship. It could just be, right now I need some space. Okay, what's happening in love and relationships for group two over the next 48 hours? New love coming in. Let's find out more about that. So you've got some new love possibly. This could be what the chair is about. You know, you could have, you could finally be kind of like ready to walk away from someone. This person could be the stubborn person that we were getting. And this could be making way for somebody new, right? Because that's what I was getting with the chair. It's like, yes, somebody's left. But now there's an open chair. There's open space. Group two. It's happening in love over the next 48 hours. Love and relationships. Kisses and acts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, two minutes ago, five rewind to me saying it doesn't mean separation okay so break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment so yeah there is somebody it seems like there's somebody you're dealing with who's so unwilling to compromise or change or even see your point of view as something that they'd rather just be right than anything like to them the priority is let's I just want to be right about this okay so this could be the person going even temporarily okay but yeah, there's sort of a feeling of like, if this could just be in general, like you could be feeling like, you know what, <laughs> I'm doing what I need to do to find balance and harmony and peace in my life. You know, whatever that means for you, whether it means stepping away, you seem very at peace and grateful right now. Lots of dogs in your reading because you do have uh, Hecate's dogs here and you have the dog here. So a lot of themes of dogs represent loyalty. Kisses. So unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, so here's a little bit of a additional kind of... I think because you are so, you are the type of person that that does love unconditionally, that you tend to put up with things longer than maybe 
you should or need to. Okay. So I think there's some themes around this over the next few days, 48 hours of like, maybe you're feeling separation from somebody. Okay. Somebody's leaving your life. There's a separation, distance, somebody walking away, but it could be making way for new, for somebody new. Okay. All right. So however that resonates for you, let's look at the charms, letters, and numbers. I have to clean up group two's for group one's charms. Sorry, I forgot to do that. We're going to use the angel book today too. I'll get you some angel numbers. Lots of info. I do the angel numbers on Patreon every week too. So yeah, it's, uh, it's fun over there. There's like tons of videos already up. You can go watch. So let's do your charms. Oh, it's lots. <laughs> okay. We'll do the angels, uh, angel numbers and the letters in just a second. We'll do pendulum at the end. You've got that chaser uh, charm here. Group one had that. There's lots of uh, dynamics right now, but like, like you could be chasing this affection from somebody and it's just, they're, they're like, there's somebody stubborn you're dealing with over the next 48 hours. You know, this could be one person, this could be several people, but somebody's just so stubborn that they'd rather be right about something. Oh, look at this. You've got the roller coaster landed on the mushroom. Okay. Okay, let's just look here. I'm just kind of taking a look here. You've got, re-roll that, seven. Um, hope. There's a Taurus in your life that does love you. Uh, and they're hoping to, to, I'm just getting they're hoping to be near you. I don't know. Hmm, I don't know what that was. I don't know if that's the. I don't know if that's the stubborn person or not, but there is a Taurus that's hoping in regards to something with you over the next 48 hours, hoping to contact you. They miss you. They feel very attached to you. You've got, you aspire to great things. Begin with little ones. I love that with your leg card because it kind of makes me think about, um, you know, the phrase baby steps or... Uh, you know, dipping your toes into something. So it's saying like over the next 48 hours, the best way to get something moving or to get this change happening is to just start with little things. I do this a lot. Like I'll be like, I'm changing this thing. And I'll think of like all of these different things I want to do and change. And it just becomes overwhelming. And then I kind of go back to what's ordinary. So any change you want, like just start with little things, like start with one thing, give it some time to stick and then add something else. Like that's going to create long lasting change. I know it's not as exciting. Uh, it's a little, you know, it's not as like, but the thing is, is like our motivation can wear off and our, um, and new habits or new routines, whatever this is for you can, can, it's hard to make them stick. So sometimes just starting with like little things can, can really add up. Okay, let me just look at the messages here. Some of you are selling a house right now. There could be great interest over the next few days. If someone makes an offer that is not like at all what you wanted, maybe take a pause if you can. Like, um, con I, again, I'm not a real estate agent, financial expert, so consult with someone. Maybe take some time, okay? Because it could be someone kind of sending in a way too low offer. So something to think about there. Okay. You'll know if that's for you. because, uh, Or if you're on the other side of things, you could be putting in an offer. You know, there could be some uh, getting like recommendations coming in in regards to that. It's so funny because I was saying something's happening over the next 48 hours that's so like it's a lot of energy really quick and then it kind of goes away as quickly as it came. So it's like oh, there's a little bit of that roller coaster energy here. But yeah, definitely something about a house, the sale of a house. It could even just be saying um, to because we've been getting lots of like decluttering energies. It's springtime as I record this. So spring cleaning has been a theme lately. 
you've got bam you've got this some numbers there you've got let me just let this focus you've got 661 14 34 57 and 86 it's good to kind of get out right now and clear your mind you've got go for a walk you've got the broom near it so something about clearing your mind Okay, I'm getting, you have options with something, so stand your ground. You've got options, stand your ground. Something you're doing is going better than you think, like there's, um, or something you're, something you're doing, applying for, something might be getting approved. You're getting the go-ahead for something. Things actually, you know what's so interesting is you've got the lighthearted, carefree time here with Jug. So like some things actually, with your Nine of Cups, there is sort of this nice, peaceful feeling around you. Like you're doing a really good job juggling all of it. Despite some excitement or chaos that's possibly happening around you, things seem quite peaceful with you. You seem very trusting of change right now, trusting of yourself. You are at a crossroads with a lot of things right now, though. Pay attention to dogs right now. Owls. Okay, look around. That could be, you might notice dogs and owls. Keys as well. Okay, with a transformation card. Keys. Got the key to success. A lot of messages collectively group one had this, but like not backing down from opposition. I'm sorry, that was not, I hope that was horribly focused that whole time. But yeah, there's like... um not backing down, standing firm with something. Because, like, you're dealing with a stubborn person. But just because this person's stubborn doesn't mean you have to, like, completely compromise everything that's important to you. Like, there's certain things that you're not willing to compromise on. It seems to be a theme today. Group one had a lot about, like, okay, we're, we're going to have to agree to disagree. So that could be coming through for you as well. This Taurus that misses you, I think they might be family, Okay. The, uh, somebody wants to live with you or move closer to you. Somebody could also reach out. Hmm. You've got the judgment energy here. You've got the uh, horse here. This has to do with freedom, momentum. This is like Ten of Wands energy. I'm getting to tell you, uh, something's going to be well worth it. Well worth it. You've got Live, Want, and Learn. The song by Alanis Morissette just popped into my mind. You live, you learn. Let's do some angel numbers, and then we'll do some letters. You've got one, eight, so let's read 18. Oh, you've got seven. Um, okay, I'm going to read 7, 18, and 18. I just picked them intuitively, so let's start with 18. Wish. Huh, look at that. And you have, you have the Nine of Cups, which is the wish card. Okay, it says, It's brave to want something, and your angels are asking you to be very brave. Make a wish and let it out to the universe, knowing it will come back to you in divine timing. Write down a wish and set, out, set it out where the wind can carry it away from you. Wow. As it flies away, you will know the angels have it now. So that could be something to do. Write a wish down and then let the wind carry it away. You could write it on a leaf even. Okay. Be wise. Make good fiscal choices. Okay. Isn't it funny I wanted to read 718 because that is... Uh, the shark card. Okay. Your angels are alerting you to watch your recent financial habits. Oh, that's the shark card. That is so cool. It's a little reminder that honoring your money honors you. Take 20 minutes today to review recent spending habits and consider how the purchases you've made have either helped or hindered you. I think um, if you're watching this, there could also be some sort of increase in money or material things because of your bowl card. So it could be saying like, look, you're going to get an increase in money, uh, unexpected little windfall of some kind. It's saying be thoughtful with it because your first instinct might be, okay, let, let's go party. Let's go be cautious with it. Okay. Because there could be something you want to put it to use, you, you know, put it towards in the future. Okay. 
I've got a song in my head. It's, um, I've seen lots of clips of it. It's like, can I call you Rose? Cause you're sweet like a flower in bloom. I don't know the, <laughs> I don't know the song, but, um, I keep hearing it, so. Okay. Fun. <laughs> Something fun's happening. You have excitement to want to learn. <laughs> Liz. That's my name. Uh, we've got Sat. Let me know what you see. Look for names, initials. If we'd have an E. Oh yeah, we did. Take take time definitely like there's some something financial it's saying like take your time take time well we've got time here so take time you got seen and noted there's something you're observing and you're making note of it over the next 48 hours pendulum again look in the comments there's always good suggestions okay. so think of a yes or no question you can pause the video if you need more time okay you've got a yes today so the answer to the question is yes currently so let me know what you think always oh, two when it comes to the pendulum, if it doesn't match up what you're getting with the cards, like have fun with it. It's just sort of a little extra fun clarification. But like with all my readings, use your own intuition, your own judgment first. Hopefully that, you know, this clarified something for you. Or what's fun about a reading like this is in two days, definitely come back. Let me know what does and doesn't happen. Because some of this might not make sense yet, but it could um, very soon. So let me know what you think, group two. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you Group three, time. if you chose the smiley face keychain, then this is your messages for the next 48, 48 hours. So I'm excited to see what you have. Today has been very interesting so far. So I've got everything shuffled up for you. And we're going to do charms, letters, numbers. We're going to do the pendulum. Lots of information today. We're going to look at love and relationships as well. First, I'm just going to get general energy for you. Um, and then we'll dive in with relationships. Okay, how many do we have there? I think that's good. Okay, let's see. I love these cards for reading like this because they're quite specific. So let's see what we have over the next 48 hours. Okay, so you've got seek out information that will help you. There's some discord happening among your friends and family. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. You've got fear, worries, intense situations. So you seem kind of worried about this. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Good advice from a wise person. You're dealing with a complicated rooster character, so an arrogant, boastful person. And you should accept valid criticism. Okay, so let's take a look here. All right, so number one, I want to tell you that throughout this Discord, you are safe, okay? Like you've got the cobweb card, so protected from negative forces beyond your control. So that also lets us know this is not in your control. This is not um, a direct, this is not directed at you necessarily, okay? There's just some, and you could already know what this is, right? Because we're looking at a very close amount of like period of time here, 48 hours. So you, this might already be underway, but there's lots of emotions here and, and you seem a little bit worried about it. Let's get a little bit more info. Everyone's dealing with a complicated person right now because group one had the turkey. Group two had the shark. And there was someone else. So everyone's kind of dealing with like a complicated character. You've got Quicksilver Moon changes. Okay. So the situation's changing and there's lots of changes
hedge. Rain. Oh, the rain's good with this fire. Okay, so one thing I want to mention to you uh, is like this discord, this conflict, something seems to kind of like need to happen in order to create change. So I'm kind of guessing that you're the one that likes to keep things peaceful, harmonious. You like everyone around you to be happy. You're a generally happy person. I don't think that you seek out your, like you're non-confrontational. I get that you don't seek out confrontation. You don't like when things are um, tense or when there's disagreements, but I'm seeing like that you're, you're dealing with a situation here that's complicated. It's involving lots of people. So again, this might be happening, happening around you. I don't see that you're even necessarily directly involved in this. You seem kind of to be in like this little, almost like a little bit of your own bubble. Um, but it's still, it's causing tension. Okay. Now this is, this illustration makes it look more intense. It kind of reminds me of the Ten of Swords, honestly, but fear, worries, tense situation. So yeah, there's absolutely some tension happening because people in your family or your friend group right now aren't getting along. People at work possibly aren't getting along. There's lots of tension. There's lots of disagreements, difference of opinions. It could just be in general, the people around you right now, their moods are really intense right now. And really, you know, there's lots of, uh, you know, reactions and, um, you know, you're dealing obviously with somebody who's quite arrogant or, uh, somebody who's just like group one had a little bit of this where you're dealing with somebody who it feels like they know everything and they're always right they know the best answer they've already done this they've oh I'm a pro at this like this person doesn't like to be wrong okay and you know, it, it's kind of saying, it's saying you can't really win with this person. This is like five of swords energy. There's a situation where I think it's almost best to kind of like walk away. But I do see group one that something's getting sorted out and under control. So this fire, you know, it's very, it can get out of, out of control. You've got the rain here though. Okay. So this fire, this strong emotion, these strong reactions can get quite out of, out of control. But when handled correctly they can actually teach us a lot okay so i'm getting that something uh the word tempered just came in so like something seems to be coming in to cool down this situation with this nice cooling rain here purification cleansing something's getting sorted out so this could be good news because if this if this discord if this tension has been happening for a while this could be really good news that something's kind of getting either like, the word clarif clarified came in but something's coming in to to sort of well, with purification, like cleansing, it's coming in to kind of deal with this. And I think it's going to help you or the people involved understand something a little bit better. I'm getting your understanding of person and their reactions a little bit better. Going forward, though, you, you know, you could have gotten involved with something because you felt like you wanted to keep the peace or you felt like, oh, you know, you could have been in the middle of something. That's what I feel like it could be is you were kind of in the middle and it caused tension because, you know, you agree with what this person says, but you also kind of see this person's point. So you're kind of being pulled in these two different directions. Your boundaries, keeping that balance going forward can be really important here with the hedge card. So you might need to, going forward from this, you know, set boundaries and and not make yourself as available to this situation or if it's family even even more complicated right because family dynamics can be complicated so you could be kind of in the middle and it's causing tension because you don't want to upset this person but you know you're loyal to this person it's it seems like it's been quite a mess but this is changing okay and you are protected in this aside from that we'll get more into these cards here you also have good advice coming in okay and some possible constructive criticism coming in over the next 48 hours this person is wise you know it could even be the rooster card like this person as arrogant as they are and even though their delivery is not ideal they could have a point with something okay so keep that in mind somebody could have a point their delivery again could be absolutely horrible <laughs> and just not gentle at all but they could have a point like there could be something you can gain from this person's experience um now but i do see i do do see someone else here i see good advice from a wise person like this is somebody you could be dealing with two people right somebody who thinks they know it all and then someone who actually has you know a lot of wisdom and experience to help you out with something but it's saying you have to seek it out okay so this person could be kind of giving you unsolicited advice whereas this person is just somebody who has a lot of wisdom and knowledge with the owl but you have to ask so 
over the next 48 hours, um, it could, I'm getting, it could create a lot of change for you, a lot of positive change to seek out information. Ask questions, send off that email, get that advice, ask for clarification. It doesn't hurt to ask. You're wondering about something. You're wondering, oh, could that work out? Or could I be a good fit for that? Or would this like, you know, what would happen with this? Ask, okay, ask ask for advice, seek out information, books right now, like get, soak up knowledge right now, because this could be really helpful as well. Especially because this uh, has the keyword indecision. You could be feeling really indecisive about something, not sure of what direction or what change to make. This could be saying, look, like, you know, the, the information is available to you, just ask for it. So please remember, if you take anything away from this reading over the next 48 hours, don't be shy to ask for, for clarification or ask for um, an answer if you need it. Okay. It's saying, seek it out. So that's really crucial. And it's saying like, you might not, you might not like all of the pieces of information. Like there could be some constructive criticism involved, but it's still worth, it's saying it's valid. Okay. So it's still worth considering if you've been doing something the same way time and time and time again, and time has passed and it's not getting you the results, changes need to be made. Okay. And they could be, um, a change you need to kind of bounce on like you might need to to take this to take this opportunity kind of want to read that one yeah someone's got some advice for you i feel like you're getting a lot of advice or there's lots of advice available to you i think you know what i think is i think you tend to like there's someone you don't like their delivery advice of advice because it comes almost as like a demand or a or like a command or like this is the only way whereas there's someone who's like got the experience they've got the wisdom it's just you might have to seek it out right this person might give you advice when you haven't asked for it whereas with this person it's saying like you need to seek it out okay so this says oh i like this you'll get an answer very soon so yeah if you do have a question if you're feeling indecisive about something there is information that could come help and make um, the decision a little clearer for you change may be inevitable now so expect good things ask oh <gasps> whoa okay i love when cards connect so this deck or sorry this monology deck is directly connected to this so it's saying ask a wise woman for advice okay so that's giving us kind of a clue it doesn't have to be a woman, but it's saying here woman. So don't cling to the past. So yeah, there's something, you know, oh, something's coming through. It's like you, there was a situation where you would rather keep things peaceful but uncomfortable than embrace change and deal with the discomfort of confrontation for a short while, all right? You don't like when things are tense. You don't like when people are you know, and you also, I think you are a people pleaser. I think you want to keep everyone happy. And that's not a bad thing always, you know, that, uh, how should I say this? It's not bad that you want people to be happy, but is it at the expense of your own comfort of your own life? Okay. So you can't keep everyone happy. It's literally impossible because what one person wants, the other person might completely not want. So ultimately we can only really keep ourselves, you know, we're only in control of ourselves. Okay. So, and you've got, you've, you've got someone here that's like telling you they know what to do. They know the answer. They know, you know, when really they, I don't think that they do, but you are dealing with someone who could have really advice, good advice. So ask a wise woman for advice. I think that's really cool how these two cards connect. So that's a really important point. Remember, if nothing else, that things change. So this situation, this tense situation with the mice card, this isn't permanent. This is going to get worked out, right? We've got this cooling rain coming in with this fire. Something's coming in to kind of like cool this situation down. You're protected in this situation. I want you to know you've done nothing wrong here. Um, you know, could there be things that maybe you want to change going forward? Absolutely. But it seems like this was inevitable. It seems like this explosion kind of happened and it was inevitable. All right. So nothing stays the same forever. If you want change, rejoice. If you're clinging on to a situation that may well have run its course, however, then this card is a gentle suggestion to release your grip. Because I feel like you're clinging on to something and it's not making it's not making it easier for you. It's like it's it's making you more worried, more tense. It's building on the fear because you're so afraid of like change, of something to change. Is this person going to go? Is this situation going to change? Am I going to find something better? Like all of these things. Nothing about your situation is currently firmly fixed. So yeah, something right now, it's 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 changing. Like it's um, it's not even 
nothing's permanent right now anyways, right? It's, it's a changing situation. It, that can be a good thing. So stay open. So right now it's saying stay open, seek out knowledge, be open to different, um, be open to different possibilities right now. Keep your eyes peeled for signs as well. In particular, notice the next song you hear. Is there a message in it for you about your question? Okay, so when you go on YouTube or if you go on your Spotify or your your Apple Music or whatever you use, pay attention to what song comes on if you get in the car today, what song is on the radio, you know, what song's uh, on your up next thing or uh, suggested to you on your on your feed on YouTube or something like that. Pay attention, okay, because there could be there could be a uh, message in there. If you're not happy about your situation, the good news is that change is afoot, so don't give up. What seems stuck now could be far more flexible quite soon. I think you're in a situation where it's like, oh gosh, like how is this ever going to change? But like something got messy in order for it to get back on track or something got messy or there's, there's, there's change. I'm getting, there's change afoot. Like if this said, like there's change afoot. So things are Things are kind of getting cleansed out of your life right now. Yeah, so what seems stuck could now be, what seems stuck now could be far more flexible quite soon. If you're hoping to change course, the course you're on now, this is a sign that you can, so take action. If the idea of change worries you, try to have a little faith in the universe. Set the intention that whatever happens next is happening for your highest good. So I know the situation doesn't seem like, but it seems like it's getting something it's again, it's providing a deeper sense of understanding or enlightenment and development, awareness, understanding. So there's something that had to kind of like almost get out of control in order to gain control of it. Events are moving. The fact that nothing lasts forever is a part of this card's message. So this situation is not going to last. Events are moving. So change may be inevitable now. Expect good things. You'll get your answers very soon. Ask a wise woman for advice. Don't cling to the past. So I'm getting the message to tell you to just kind of be on this ride while it's happening. You know? Yeah, it's, I'm getting like something that feels quite destructive came along. And it's like, because you like when things are calm and harmonious and peaceful, it was quite you know, alarming for you. But again, it's like some things are getting dealt with. Finally, I'm getting to tell you discussed finally sorted out. Finally, whether this is with friends or family disagreements in regards to moving disagreements in regards to finances, disagreements in regards to how should we do this? How should we handle this? How do we handle this relationship? What do I need to know here? Like this is getting sorted out. Conflict is not always a bad thing. Okay, let's get some love questions answered here. Let's see what's happening in love. Group three, what is going on in love and relationships over the next 48 hours? I'd love to hear in 48 hours, like come back and tell me like what does and doesn't happen. I always love that. Um, you got, this could be the one and flirt. Ooh, so some flirtation happening over the next 48 hours. There's somebody where you are either meeting them or you're currently talking to them or something's happening where you're like, you know what? I kind of feel like things could progress with this person. I, I feel like this, there's potential here. I feel like things could go somewhere with this person. So I'm going to flirt. I'm going to kind of see, I'm going to enjoy myself here. There's some flirtatious kind of lighthearted fun energy happening here. It is saying here, and I don't always read these ones literally, but it's saying you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So there's definitely, and if you like my readings and you want to support the channel, okay, oh my goodness, you got the snake. Okay. Com competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Oh my goodness. Let's find, let's find out what's happening with that then. Okay. Hmm. Okay. You got, okay. Oh, this is more complicated than, <laughs> than I initially thought. Okay. So you've got a situation here. 
Okay, this is complicated. I want to get more, but... Sorry, I'm just sorting this out here. Mm. They've, you've got... You're dealing with somebody who's playing a game here. Let's find out more. Okay, so group... Because I don't know if it's the same person. Because you're meeting... Like, you've met someone that you want to explore, but then it's almost like somebody sees this, calls you, like, they're being, like, sneaky about it. Passion. Three, what's happening in love? Influence. Okay, yeah, this is... Got flirt again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the thing. You are in a complicated situation. If this doesn't resonate, definitely. Do <laughs> you don't have to take this message. But this is, this is <laughs> a little messier than I thought at first glance, okay? Now, you've, you're dealing with a situation where you're, you're meeting someone possibly or starting to flirt with someone and somebody isn't necessarily <laughs> happy about it, okay? So I'm seeing somebody who's sort of playing a game with this, okay? They're trying to be strategic when it comes to you, okay? This, like, it's like, it's like almost like they see you flirting and then that's when they come with these messages of love, thinking of you, letting you know, just so you know, I've been thinking about you a lot, I miss you, okay? Because this person's like reminiscing, it almost kind of feels like as soon as you move on, that's when they want to kind of. Because this, because this, the energy with this when I first saw it was quite lovely. Okay, so I'm feeling like this person, this could be the one. This is actually a, a good possibility for you. But then you've got you've got somebody playing a game here, and yeah, it almost kind of feels like this person doesn't. I'm getting this person doesn't like that there's other options out for you. There's other possibilities out there for you. You've got the word passion twice. There's a lot of passion and intensity with this person. I'm also getting like there's somebody new. And because it doesn't feel maybe the same as intensity... As this other previous person, it kind of like makes you question things, but it's okay. Like you're adapting to something new here. Um, you've got the word lighthearted twice. So yeah, keep it like, mm. it's interesting. Yeah, I think you're, <laughs> group three, I think that you're dealing with like a complicated love situation here, third party situation or somebody from your past that like every time you move in or you move on, they seem to pop up with the memories and the, so I think you're dealing with that. Again, this is a 48 hour reading, so I don't think that this is getting solved in 48 hours at all. I think you're just dealing with this. You could hear from them. Someone's being strategic though with you. Like they're, they're, you know, they're not, <laughs> they're not revealing all of their cards here. They're like, it's almost like a game. It's interesting. But yeah, that's what I'm getting. But yeah, you just, there's someone you're like interested in or flirting with that you feel like you want to explore and there's lots of potential here. Okay. It's whatever you want it to be. Yeah. There's lots of like passion here. Somebody's jealous. Competition. They view someone as competition. They're trying to be clever and strategic right now with the uh, hand of cards and the snake. They view someone as competition. They're trying to see what you're going to move. They're trying to see what move you're going to make next too, okay? Which I don't love because it's like they're watching. It seems like they're like watching your moves that you're making or something. Because with the hand of cards and then look over your shoulder, it's like someone's looking at your hand of cards, trying to see what you're going to do. With the blank card, it's like they don't, 
really know what's going to happen like there's lots of this is a complicated love situation group three i'd be interested to know does this resonate does that make sense because over the next few days like you could be flirting with someone or kind of getting to know someone and then you've got this person you know trying to be strategic you know contacting you suddenly after however long saying oh you know what actually i miss you like you know with the memories card like there's some game playing happening here that i don't love but that's you know relationships sometimes so just be aware of it right now what i would say as far as advice is like keep your cards close to your chest possibly um do what feels right for you like you seem to be kind of corresponding or flirting with someone who who's got a very light-hearted calm kind of energy it's not as intense or passionate necessarily as what you had before okay and that's influencing this decision possibly but just see be open to it okay one of your cards talked about being open i believe so just be open to what else could be let's get some charms letters and numbers okay so i had paused before i was shuffling the little love cards because i was about to say something and then it popped out so if it comes to me i'll try and think of what it was but something was something was there that could be a message though like you're you're getting interrupted you've got an n here i'll save those for the letters you've got a four you've got bam you've got this you aspire to great things begin with little ones so you're also being encouraged over the next um two days to start with what you can do little things You've got the bridge. I love that because it's talking about like overcoming a emotional situation. Oh, I know. I remember what I was going to say. I was going to, I was going to talk about my Patreon. If you like my readings, if you like, if you like the charms, letters, and numbers, you can check out my Patreon. It's linked below. I upload every single week. We do the pendulum. We do the letters, numbers, angel numbers, all of that. Um, I recently added more to those readings. So you can check that out every single week. You've got passport in. There's new hope for projects you had almost given up on. So something to do with travel. There's new hope for a specific vacation or trip uh, right now. You could think that one thing isn't going to happen. It could end up happening. Interesting because you've got the owl. Um, you had the owl card. You've got the owl here. So this wise person, uh, the one card said it was a wise woman. The moon card talked about the owl too, or wise person. Um, this could be in regards to direction. Okay, so somebody giving you directions. But remember, you have to seek it out. You have to ask for this. You've got the... Oh, you've got lots about transformation here with the butterfly as well. Yeah, there's a lot today in general about like this chasing dynamic, like somebody's chasing someone and there's like this tag, you're it kind of thing. It's almost like as soon as you move on or you're flirting with someone or thinking, okay, you know what? This could be somebody I'm interested in. That's when this person comes in like... It's just that that part I don't love. Like, I have no doubt that they have feelings for you, but I just don't love that, like, it's every time you seem to kind of move away, they chase or vice versa. It's like, and then when you're ready for them, they move and you feel like you're chasing them. So there's, th that's a theme today, I've noticed. One other group had a little bit about that. So um, it must just be collectively a theme right now. You've got the book here. This is about seeking out knowledge or wisdom, information, or information coming to light so more information could be coming to light soon you've got something you're celebrating possibly the sale of a home or the sale of something or something being finalized or completed this could be what the discord among family or friends are is about it could be there could be some disagreements right now in regards to moving finances um, something like that a house something to do with a house or the sale of something this could be about a state okay somebody there could be some uh, disagreements in regards to somebody's like inheritance or something like that uh, unfortunately that does also happen so money this could be financial this could be disagreements in regards to family like no that was supposed to be mine you know something like that could be happening but again i do say, see it getting sorted out there could be someone coming along to help like uh and getting like dictate or make the decision or something like that uh i'm getting to tell you your intuit your intuition knows best about something so listen to your intuition i'm getting the message to tell you you got a chance to create something here what do you want it to be what do you want it to look like like it's up to you you've got the boat here go with the flow i think this is talking about the love situation i'm really getting to go with the flow here oh, 
I'm getting to call someone's bluff. Like something like that. Like it's almost like you're saying, okay, well, you didn't, you didn't care if I moved on. Well, I'm, I'm going to. I'm, I'm, you know, I've got a date next week or something like that is happening. You can fill in the blanks and kind of see what it is for you. Of course, these are general readings, but if this is for you, the themes will be there. And the fun thing about this reading too is some things might make sense over the next two days, right? It's a two-day reading, so I'd love if you came back and let me know what does and doesn't happen. The initial end could be really important. Yeah, something about travel, like travel plans that you didn't think were going to work out could actually um, end up working out. Yeah, I love the bridge for overcoming an emotional situation. You, you've got a lot here about like be true to you. There's a situation where you're thinking, will what I said or will something be misconstrued or will I be misinterpreted? I'm getting no, okay? Like somebody, there's also a possibility that somebody's like... Uh, um, not fighting on your behalf, but like if someone tries to pull you into this, someone else say it's something like this. Someone else says, oh, no, they had nothing to do with this. Like something like that, because you've got you're protected from negative forces beyond your control um, with the cobweb. And I'm getting like you've got nothing like you were honest about something. OK, so if this is happening among family or friends like you, this isn't really about you necessarily. Is that making sense? Let's get you some angel numbers here. Okay, so I'm going to flip these intuitively. I'm going to read 42. I'm going to read 513. Forty-two. Stay involved. You are the most invested. The present situation around you needs your direct involvement. Your angels are discouraging you from handing it off to someone who won't care the way you do. How can you stay engaged in a way that helps everything stay on track? So it's getting, um, you're getting a message to, to say like, you're almost thinking in a situation like, oh, someone else could do this better. I should just not even get involved in this. Now, of course, if this is talking about the discord and you don't want to get involved in that, I don't think that you should. What I think this is about is the owl card, the advice, because it's saying like, you're thinking of like handing this off to someone or, or someone else will be a better fit or someone else, you know, should take care of this. No, you just need more information. So stay invested in your project or your idea. Stay connected to it. Don't give all of the power to someone else, okay? You're more capable than I think you give yourself credit for. Okay, 513. Give attention. Use your words carefully. Tempers and passions absolutely are flaring around you, but you are being called to take the higher road. Use oh, Using wisdom with your words in all interactions around you is the challenge as your angels ask you to pursue. Oh, sorry. Using wisdom with your words in all interactions around you is the challenge your, an your angels ask you to pursue. Repeat this mantra, my spirit is tranquil. Okay, so despite what's happening around you, this is directly talking about that mice card. Despite all of that, you know, just be honest. I'm getting to be honest in a situation. Okay, you've got nothing to hide here. Just be honest, okay? And, and you know, going back to the other angel number, maybe it is saying like, if you need to get involved to speak your truth, then do so. It says, remember to count to 10 before responding to any emotional communication around you. So yeah, take, get the information um, if you need it, or take a step back to collect your thoughts, what you want to say, and then speak confidently. Don't be, I'm getting like you, you do fear conflict or you fear disagreements because you do want to keep everyone happy. But again, that is it, is it keeping you happy though? Someone may ask for your opinion. You may be asked for your opinion. Just be honest then. Be honest. Be fair. Like, give it a second, but just be fair and honest. It could have to do with a state or money or a will or something like that. Like, I don't know. Obviously, not everyone's going to resonate with that, but... You know, because of the for sale sold, the will that just popped out, like the feeling I was getting discord among friends and family, like that's a common thing. So there could be a little bit of that getting sorted out, but the rain coming in seems to be, again, like calming things down. Okay, so look for, yeah, you've got home, something, there's a lot about a home, sale of a home, price of a home coming out today.
time. <laughs> me time. Let me know what you see. We're going into the pendulum in a second, but I'll give you a few moments. Look for um, words in the comments too. There's always really great suggestions. You know, it could be that you've got a lot going on too. Like, you know, you've got a lot going on in your, in your life right now. I'm getting to tell you, you don't always have to keep the peace. Like you seem like the, the person that always, you know, gets involved to keep the peace. Something it's, it was, it was time to get sorted out. Okay. Relationships are complicated. You know, dynamics aren't always peaceful and tranquil. <laughs> you can still be tranquil. Like that one card said, like you can still be tranquil regardless of the of what's happening around you because you do have that. You are protected throughout this too. Interesting. That love situation got really <laughs> a lot more complicated than I thought too. At first I was like, oh, flirt. You met someone. I think that's true, but you've also got somebody else kind of trying to play their cards or kind of treat this like a game i was getting earlier you're calling their bluff about something it's like in the, with the love call card it's like every time you start to flirt or move on or think that oh you know what you know what maybe it's like you know what it is every time i feel like you start to start over you know you're ready to kind of start over that's when they pop in <laughs> they view everyone as competition Okay, interesting. And yeah, that's when they call with the, oh, I love you, I miss you, uh, you know. They send you a picture with the memories card. It's like, oh, remember this? Like, ah, I don't know. It's it's a little bit like with the snake card. It's a little bit uh, deceptive. Okay, let's... Oh, and my battery thing just came up. So think of a yes or no question. again you've got a no way for today that could always change uh this is the next 48 hours so it could be a no way for the next 48 hours but let me know what you think group three i really hope that this resonated i hope it made sense for you all in your life seems like it's like changing you've got your you know you're setting more boundaries going forward uh, there's a situation that's getting worked out among family or friends or at work um, you're being encouraged to seek out more information if there's something you need advice with but accept valid criticism if it comes in this person could have good advice might be different than what you want to hear but it could be helpful you are dealing with a situation where someone has to be right it's causing a lot of tension with friends or family um, but again, you had tranquil, you've got the rain coming in, kind of like calming the situation down with that fire card. So that's good. You know, you've got hedge boundaries, potential and decision. You're making your own decisions. There's changes happening in your life, but you've also got a complicated love situation that you're dealing with. So I think with the love situation, just keep doing, be true to you right now. Um, if there's someone you're interested in, keep talking to them, getting to know them. Don't let this person manipulate you or don't let this person try to play you know, like any games here. Okay. Uh, keep them guessing, keep your cards, your moves close to your chest as well. Not encouraging game playing, but sometimes that's kind of how it feels. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think group three. I hope you enjoyed this. We will see you next time.